Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to continue in showing you how you can use a UV free unit instance inside a MyRack. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so first of all, let's create um, a new project and let's select the generator as a template. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use audio unit MIDI effect. So let's double click on the canvas and we select a UV free hosting. Let's go for the basic one. Okay, so we select a audio unit and we go for a MIDI effect. Now let's scroll down and uh, let's go for something like Rosetta Baseline. Okay, next um, let's uh, uh, double click and select again a UV free Austin, again, the simple one. And we're going to uh, choose this time an instrument and um, uh, let's um, let's have a look what um, what we can choose. Let's see if we can find something like. Um, uh, uh, let's have a look. Let's scroll down further down. I have something in mind like uh, perhaps low tone. Uh, that would be good. Uh, there it is. Okay, so you might be tempted now to connect the two, uh, but actually that is not how it works. So first of all, this is producing MIDI event and um, as an audio unit instance, that is why I have selected the MIDI effect and this one is an instrument, okay, which needs to have gate and um, the oct um, events as um, as input so you need to put something else in the middle so double click and let's go to audio midi and let's select a basic midi input like so now if you click here where it says up default now you can choose rosetta baseline okay so at this point we have uh, the uh, midi input which is coming in from rosetta which is hosted here the baseline uh, version here and um, we need to connect it now to the AUV3 host audio unit instance hosted here which is low tone so we connect like so and also the gating so gate and the voltage octave here okay so if in, now you can see we are already playing but you don't hear anything so even if you click play again you will not hear anything at all well, first of all, let's generate a melody um, or a bass line. So let's click on generate. Perhaps let's increase the number of steps like so to uh, 16. But again, if I click play, you don't hear anything. And the reason that you don't hear anything is because you need to have transport control, which drives the MIDI effect in instance. And the way to do that at the moment is to go to Essential and bring in your clock here. Okay, before I do that, I'll make sure that is not playing. Okay, perfect. And I click clocked. And this, as you can see at the top, it says transport as well. Let's click play now. You can see it is plain here and um, we have now to connect the output of course otherwise it will not work So this is uh, how it works and it's so simple actually to make a mistake. First of all, as you um, you have seen, I have not connected the output. So of course you don't hear anything. But secondly, um, you need to have the transport here, the clocked um, module or rack uh, um, enabled to give the transport uh, messages here to this uh, hosted unit, in this case Rosetta Baseline. And of course, this module will evolve, will change, and I'm sure as we progress with different releases of MIRAC, um, 
uh, things will uh, will change a little bit and will become a little bit easier as well. But for now, this is how it works. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.